nothing to grieve for my strength deserted me, neutralized my eyes that failed me. But my friends and companions came and fought me while my foes were sinking to the part of my presence. And those who sought my life used violence for those who wished my loss for life. Pardon the exception of the day. Still I remained as a deaf man and heard that not as a dumb man and opened not my mouth. As a man who has not heard a thing and not no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I place my trust to be true, the Lord my God. I said, O my foes seek to gloat over me, they boast in my glee when my feet stumbled. As for me, I'm ready for scourge in my pain. Speak for me always, be that myself confess my guilt and will that I need to part of my sin. Let my enemies survive and will follow me, and those who do hate me are multiplied. Those who render me evil for good oppose me when I fought with righteousness. O Lord, my God, forsake me not, stay them apart from me, come close to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O Lord, my God, forsake me not, stay them apart from me, come close to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, as on I rise, to give my soul a thirst to you, and I'll have my flesh is hunger to you. Like a trap that's part of land that has no water, so that I come before you in the holy place, to see the power and the glory that are yours. Your life is, since your love is more delightful than life itself, my mouth will declare your praise. So shall I rest as long as I live and lift up my hand in your name. My soul shall be filled with this man one sat, and with joyful this my mouth shall sing your praise. For lying on my couch, I remembered you, I thought of you throughout the early watches. You became for me the helping one who shelter your wings, I will rejoice. My soul followed you close by me, right and held me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the abyss of the earth and be delivered to trenching swords. The portion of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice, and God will swear by him shall glory for the liar's mouth is stopped. I thought of you throughout the early watches, you came for me to help him one who shelter your wings, I will rejoice. My soul followed you close by me, right and help me up. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. For the mercy, for the mercy, for the mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I have cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, then you read my request, O Lord. For my soul was flooded with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who sink to the abyss. <coughs> <coughs> I was like a man beyond help, left for dead, like the slain that lie in the tomb, and those who remember no more, and they were cut away from your hand. They have cast me down to the bottom of the pit into the darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me, you took my friends away, so you made me be faithful to them. I was closed and could not escape. My eyes were dim with distress. I cried out to you all the day, stretched out my hands to you, but you were plunged to dead, you're the dead of the life, to sing your praise. Has anyone seen your love in the grave, your faithfulness in this perdition? Our marvels ever known of the darkness, your dust in the land of oblivion. Yet I, O oh Lord, cried out to you and to my prayer like the dawn. Why, O oh Lord, you reject my soul. Why do you hide your face from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was very tired and humble and distressed. Your plague has swept over me. Your terrors have left me shaken. They surrounded me like war all the day. They closed upon me altogether. You have taken sleep from me, friend and companion of my acquaintance, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I have cried out before you, let my prayer reach up to you, let me hear my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, may all that is in me bless his holy name. <coughs> bless the little my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him. Who pardon for your sins and heal for your diseases, who lengthens your life and corruption and crowns with love and mercy, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth to bring you like the eagles. The Lord brings about deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is one of compassion and pity, long suffering to manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor shall his anger always last. He deals not with us as our sins to men, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so high as the love extends his love to those who fear him. As far as the east stands away from the west, so far as he put our sins from us. As kind as the Father is towards his children, so kind is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we are only dust. A man whose days resemble grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. Let a breath pass 
over him as he has done and never shall he know his place again. But to love the Lord is from all eternity and to all eternity to those who fear him as judges upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant to remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things. His kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, you his angels, his strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, you his powers of his heavens who obey his will. Bless the Lord, you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, listen to my prayer and your truth. Give peace to my request and your justice. Hear me and enter not into judgment with your servant. Since of all living none is just before you, the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to go in darkness like those long dead. My spirit was overwhelmed with grief, and within it my heart was troubled. Remembering the days of old, I meditated on all your deeds, and I followed the work of your hands. I stretch up my hands to you like a cart, and my soul longs for you. Listen to me without delay, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me. Now let me sink in the pit like the others, grant that they may hear love is going, so I place my hope in you. O Lord, let me know that which I should go for you, I have lifted up my soul. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, it is to you that I have fled. Teach me to your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me over level ground for the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your saving bounds, you deliver my soul from oppression. And in your loving kindness, you destroy my enemies and bring to naught all those who grieve my soul, for I am your servant. O Lord, in justice, hear me and enter not into judgment with your servant, O Lord, in justice, hear me and enter not into judgment with your servant. May your good spirit lead me over level ground. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Lord, our hope, glory to you.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting to faithful Christians victory over their enemies, and guarding your commonwealth by your cross. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, Strengthen our public authorities in every good deed, and protect your nation by the power of your cross. Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you enriched your life with fasting, you loved the poor and gave them all you had. You were brighter than the sun in virtue, sharing the sad and comforting the morning. By virtue of these riches, O oh Father, and many us beg Christ to forgive our sins by your prayers, both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting to faithful Christians victory over their enemies and guarding your commonwealth by your cross. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. And everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in the heavens, praise him in the heights. To you belong the praise of God. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his powers. To you belong the praise of God. Give praise to him, sun and moon. Give praise to him, all you stars and night. Give praise to him, you heavens of heaven, and you water that is above the heavens. And we praise the name of the Lord, for he said the word, and they came to be. He commanded, and they were created. He established them for all eternity and forever and ever. He fixed their boundaries, which cannot be passed. Give praise to the Lord from out of the earth, you monsters and all you depths, fire and hail, snow and ice, tempestuous winds who obey his word, you mountains and all you hills, fruit bearing trees and all you cedars, savage beasts and all you cattle, crawling things and all you winged birds, kings of the earth and all you nations, leaders and all you judges of the earth, young men and maidens, elders and children. Give praise to the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His exaltation is above heaven and earth. He will raise up a horn for his people. We praise for all his saints, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in his maker, and the sons of Zion exalt in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance, making melody to him on the drum and the harp. For the Lord is well pleased in his people, with salvation he will exalt the meek. Let the saints triumph in glory, and sing for joy on their couches. Let the high praise of God be upon their lips, and double-edged swords in their hands, to bring revenge upon the nations, and reproach upon the peoples, to fetter their kings with chains, and their nobles with iron shackles, to execute on them the written sentence. This is glory for all his saints. Praise the Lord in his holy ones. Praise him in the firmament of his might. <coughs> Praise him in his mighty deeds. <coughs> Praise him for the fullness of his majesty. Praise him with the blast of the horn. Praise him with the harp and the zither. Praise him with cymbal and chorus. Praise him with strings and pipes. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with cymbals of glory. And everything that breathes, praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Again and again, please let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Then God say, God have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. The great King, our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, made us to us, O God, deliver the rich and the needy with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves to one another. And of the life of the Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good God, the lover of mankind, and we render glory to you. Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Though I in paradise had terribly fallen through the manslayer's bitter counsel, O Savior, yet thou on Calvary didst raise me up of all, healing by thy tree that curse of the tree, and thou slewest the accursed serpent who through beguilement had slain me, and thou didst grant divine life unto me, to thy divine crucifixion be glory, O Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, have mercy on me in the greatness of your love, and the abundance of your tender mercies. Wipe out my old sins. Wash me thoroughly.
early for mallards and turkeys to stay and sprout, well aware of my mallards may soon keep on your way. It is you alone I have offended, I have done what is evil in your sight. Wherefore you were just in your deeds and triumphant in your judgment. Behold, I was born in iniquities and in sins. My mother conceived me, but you were the lover of truth. You have shown me the depths and secrets of your wisdom. Wash me with his sin, I seek you, or cleanse me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Let me hear songs of joy and peace, and your bones that grow thicker shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my offenses and wipe off all my sins. Spot with heart, create for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit in my breast. Cast me not far from your face. Take not your blessed spirit out of me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and let your guiding spirit dwell in me. I will teach your ways to the sinner, and the wicked shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God, and my tongue will joy to sing your justice. O Lord, you shall open my lips, my mouth will declare your praise. Had you desired sacrifice, I would have offered, but you will not be satisfied with over an offering. Sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit, a Christ humble heart, God will not spurn. In your kindness, O Lord, be bountiful to Zion, may the walls of Jerusalem be restored. Then will you delight in just oblation, sacrifice over an offering. Then shall they offer a cast upon your altar. Accosted Moses in striving with an upright stroke of his rod. He divided the Red Sea for Israel, who I am gone for. Then he turned and smote the sea, once again uniting it over Pharaoh's chariots. With transverse stroke portraying the invincible weapon. Wherefore, let us praise in song Christ our God, for he truly is glorified. For your precious cross, O Lord, of old did Moses foreshow himself a type of the spotless passion when he stood between two sacred men of God. For he figured forth the cross with his hands outstretched and raised up trophies of the fight, destroying the dominion of the pestilent Amalek. Hence, let us praise in song Christ our God, for he truly is glorified. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. Once Moses placed on a pole that which cured the plague of the serpent's deadly poison bite and rescued from the death it brought. And on wood that formed a cross, crosswise did he bind the serpent creeping on the earth. By this sign overcoming the affliction and suffering, wherefore let us praise and song Christ our God, for he truly is glorified. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. That mighty trophy, the cross, was revealed by heaven unto the godly-minded king, the champion of piety. Through this, all the wanton pride of the hateful foes was crushed, deceit was overthrown, and swiftly the divine faith was spread out through the whole earth. Wherefore, let us praise and song Christ our God, for he truly is glorified. O holy hierarch, as many of us pray to God for us, since thou hast Christ to hearken to thy divine supplications, O godly minded Father, as many of us, make them favorable unto them that acclaim thee with longing, O blessed hierarch. O holy hierarch, Father, as many of us pray to God for us, from thy youth thou didst love humility, which exalteth a righteous father, humbling the arrogant serpent, and verily made rich with the grace of working feelings. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou becamest an instrument able to contain the Spirit, when through much asceticism thou hast made the carnal mind subject to the soul, and the, the worse the servant of the better, both now and forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. The prophecies concerning thee have now been fulfilled, O Lady Bird, giver of God, from him whom they proclaim before with lofty speech, thou hast contained in thy womb into perfect nature. The rod is perceived as the figure of the mystery, for by its blossoming it showed who was chosen to be pleased. And for the church that formerly was barren hath the wood of the cross now blossomed forth, Unto strength and steadfastness. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord, the sharp rock to the and struck forth, forth water for the disobedient and hard hearted people, signified the mystery of the church, which was called of which was called of God, for the cross is her strength and her steadfastness. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. When I immaculate side was pierced with the spear of water which blood spilled forth, inauguration of providence and washing away sins. For the cross is the boast of the faithful, and obtains her strength and steadfastness. O holy hierarch, Father Eunius, pray to God for us. With diligence thou flewest like a bee through spiritual meadows, O hierarch, hunting for sweet honey and storing it up in the hive of thy heart. O holy hierarch, Father Eunius, pray to God for us. Thy life being pure and thy word ceasing with divine 
by your free volition to be elevated upon the holy cross. Grant your mercies to your new people who are called by your name. In your power gladden the hearts of our public authorities, strengthening them in every good deed, so that your true alliance may be for them a weapon of peace and the standard of victory. He that was caught up to the third heaven into paradise and heard unspeakable and divine words, which it is not lawful for the tongue to utter, that which he wrote to the Galatians, ye as lovers of the scriptures have read and know, far be it, he saith, that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord alone, on which he slew the passions by his passion. Let us all then firmly hold fast to the Lord's cross as our boast, for this wood is our salvation, the weapon of peace, the trophy invincible. The weapon of peace, the trophy invincible. Now in Orthodox teaching, so Father didst excel, while making every dark heresy fade and vanish away, thou wast shown to be a worker of great miracles. And through the providence of God thou wast made illustrious in all things. Hence we revere thee with fervent faith as a hierarch and peer of angels over many years. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us take up the all-holy wood of Christ the King, upon our shoulders with faith then let us all cast far away every treasure pleasure and delightful thing of earthly life for when the kings of olden faith took upon themselves the cross they conquered their adversaries and put to flight by its power the dreaded tribes of the barbarians <coughs> i have hearkened and heard o lord of thy dispensations most awesome <laughs> mystery and i came to knowledge of thy works and i sang the praise of thy divinity glory to your precious cross o lord which would moses once transformed the bitter springs in the wilderness foreshowing the nation's passage unto true religion through the cross glory to your precious cross o lord the jordan which had hid in its depths the head of an axe gave us back again because of the handle of wood giving a certain token of the cutting off of error by the cross in baptism glory to your precious cross o lord the people of israel divided in two four companies is assembled after a sacred pattern going on before the symbolic tabernacle of witness and made glorious by the sign of the cross formed by their ranks. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord, marvelously spread out. The cross shot forth rays like the sun, and the heavens declared the glory of our God. The holy hierarch, as many of pray to God for us, devoting thyself to the temples of God, O hierarch, and making thyself fair with sacred mediations. Thou becamest the house of the Spirit. O holy hierarch, Father, as many of us pray to God for us as a God-inspired hierarch and prelate of Gortinia. O wise Father, as many of us, thou shonest like lightning with the splendor of miracles. O holy hierarch, Father, as many of us pray to God for us with the torches of thy prayers. Thou burnest up the great gaping mouths of the dragon that yawn against thee, O hierarch. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With a mighty disposition, thou didst bravely cast down the adversary, and didst bridle the attacks of lions, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In ancient times, sacred voices foretold us the depth of thy childbirth, 
the outcome of which we now behold, O Immaculate Virgin. O true divine and thrice blessed, whereon Christ God was outstretched, though he is King and Lord of all. He who once had through the tree wrought wicked beguilement, fell himself because of thee, ensnared when God was nailed unto thee in our mortal flesh. He who granted peace unto our souls. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. O celebrated wood and cross whereon Christ was outstretched, the turning sword that guarded Eden was in awe of thee, and the dread cherubim drew back before Christ, who was nailed to thee, and who granted peace unto our souls. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. The hostile powers under the earth shudder when they see the sign of the cross inscribed in the lower air wherein they go about. But the race of those in heaven and of the earthborn bow the knee unto Christ, who granted peace unto our souls. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. The divine cross hath appeared, shining with glittering rays of light undefiled, and flashing its divine brightness upon the nations, darkened by the error of deceit. It maketh them friends of Christ, who was nailed thereto, and who granted peace unto our souls. O holy hierarch, Father, you mean this created our foes. Thou didst possess understanding, O righteous Eumenia, since thou hadst brought thy mind and soul out of the passions unto peace. Wherefore thou didst faithfully resolve the contentions of the royalty who gave thee a rise. O holy hierarch, Father Eumenius, created our foes. The rightful among kings lent his ear to thee and ended the enmity which had begotten long-lasting destruction. And he came to love brotherly concord. O godly-minded Eumenius, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Set up like a beacon, thou didst enlighten throne performing miracles and wisely calling unto a peaceful haven of healings, them that swam in the deep of the passions, O blessed Father, go down forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Unto the Son who was before eternity, thou gavest birth for us as a young babe, twofold of will and energy, since he is both man and God, O all blameless lady. When Jonah, who was in the belly of the sea monster, stretched forth his hands in the form of a cross, he prefigured thy saving passion manifestly. Hence also when he came forth on the third day, he indicated the supernal resurrection of Christ God, who was crucified in the flesh and enlightened the world by his arising on the third day. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. Thy time of gave and spent in sickness, Jacob rose upright with and crossed his hands, stood in the power of the life-bearing cross. For God, who is nailed upon him in the flesh, hath driven and removed the weakness of the matter of the shadowy law, and hath driven away the soul-destroying disease of earth. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. When the divine Israel laid his hands crosswise in the heads of the children, he signified that as the honor due unto the firstborn was set aside, so would be the people serving the law. Wherefore, when suspected of error in so doing, he changed not the life bearing figure. For Christ, who is the newly planted people of Christ God, will abide by the cross of his higher being. O holy hierarch, Father Ephemenio, pray to God for us having Christ in thy heart as an effectual and inexhaustible treasure of us many of God is reckoned as clay the gold that the king gave thee. O holy hierarch, Father of many of pray to God for us. Thou saddest on the lofty throne, O Father, uttering the salutation of peace to the church from on high, and now it is adorned with the, the name thereof. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, unwedded by saints, thou didst sail the exceedingly perilous billows of life, and didst reach the haven where the companies of the righteous rejoice, <coughs> both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The heavenly rain came down upon thee, O ever virgin, watering the parched earth with floods of divine knowledge, and showing it to be most fruitful. 
disobedience of break the commandment of God and the tree partaken of untimely brought death to mortals. Henceforward, the tree of the most precious life was securely enclosed till that thief of the night, dying a painful death, opened the way to it again as he cried with gratitude, O thou supremely praised God of our fathers and our God, forever art thou blessed. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord, Israel, beholding that which was to come, reverence the top of Joseph's staff, signifying beforehand the transcendently glorious cross would be the might of the kingdom, for it is the triumphal boast of kings, and a light to them that cry with faith, O thou supremely praised God of our fathers and our God, forever art thou blessed. O holy fire, our Father, give me a spirit of prose. With eagerness of soul, thou madest sport of dead thoughts, and his journey to far places in deep full caves, O righteous Eugenius, for the benefit of them that receive thee with faith as the sole of cause of ten sacred doctrines. O holy fire, our Father, Eugenius, pray to God for us. Rome, after enjoying thy good things, sendeth thee against thy will as a long for gift unto the Cabay, O righteous Father Eugenius, and upon arriving there, thou dost end the sorrow of drought by the shower of thine august prayers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, when fed at the breast, thou didst suckle the venerable milk of abstinence, and thou camest unto the measure of the stature of Christ, led up unto the summit of the virtues, O Father, and shining brighter than the sun with divine signs for those held in the night of the passions. Both now and forever and the ages of ages, amen. Thy womb is become the dwelling place of the immaterial light, which hath enlaid godlessness with the fiery rays of divine knowledge, O immaculate maiden, bride of God, in dewy him crying thou, Blessed art thou, the God of our fathers. O ye children, equal in number to the Trinity, bless ye God the Father and Creator. Praise ye the Word who descended and changed the fire into dew, and supremely exalt the O Holy Spirit who granted life unto all forever. For your precious cross, O Lord, as that wood is exalted which was sprinkled with the blood of the incarnate Word of God, sing praises, ye powers of the heavens, celebrating the restoration of mortals. Ye people worship the cross of Christ, whereby resurrection hath been granted to the world unto all the ages. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. Ye earth-born stewards of grace, with due reverence exalt of your hands the cross whereon Christ our God stood, which was fear that pierced the body of God the Word that all the nations behold the salvation of God, glorifying him unto the ages. Glory to your precious cross, O Lord. Be glad, ye faithful Christian kings, who have been chosen by divine decree, receiving from God the precious cross, glorious triumphal weapon, for thereby the tribes of the enemy that audaciously seek war are scattered unto the ages. O holy fire, Father Eugenius, pray to God for us. When thou hast hurled down the enemy and finished the good course, thou didst pass over unto thy fathers in deep old age like ripe wheat, being come to thy life's end in a strange <coughs> land. O holy fire, our father Eugenius, pray to God for us, in no wise unmindful of thy good works, the children of the Cabade, he fittingly judged it right to send thy sacred reliquary back to thy fatherland and flock and upon its return thereto, the grace of miracles. 
his crowns, for the flames and burning heat and to do. Chant praises and hymns, O Lord, he worships, and exalt him greatly to the ages and all ages. With hands let us break the magic bond, the fell for force and the mud of the fire. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption did give birth to God the Word, the very tale to close you duly magnify.
that are in the old king Eugenius. Both nouns govern in three ages of ages of men. Thou bearest him that with divine power beareth all, and at thy breasts thou dost nourish him that nourisheth all that hast breath of all pure. Transcending mind is thy wonder, astonishing angels and mortals, who ever praise thee and with longing call thee blessed. With one accord, let us praise the Lord with hymns, God the Word, who came forth from God, and who ineffably took on flesh from a pure virgin for us, and in wisdom past telling these, and did to make Adam new again, who by eating fell grievously down into corruption's pits. Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, you govern the highest. 
highest and on earth, peace and goodwill to men. We sing to you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for the splendor of your glory. O Lord King, O Heavenly God, Father Almighty, O Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and you all, Holy Spirit. O Lord God, O Lamb of God, O Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O you who take away the sins of the world, accept our supplication. O you who are enthroned at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy. You alone are the Lord Jesus Christ, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you and sing to you your name, always and forever and ever. O Lord, you have been for us a refuge from age to age. I said, Lord, have mercy on me and heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, to you do I comfort, shelter, teach me to obey your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your life we shall see light. Extend your mercy upon those who confess you. Gain, O Lord, and keep us this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Praise and glorify you your name forever. Amen. O Lord, let your mercy rest upon us, for we have placed our trust in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, grant that I may understand your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. Everlasting is your love, O Lord, turn not away from the work of your hands. Indeed, praise, adoration, and glory are your due. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. O mercy, O God, have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. O Lord, have mercy. In this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Grant to us peace, a faithful guide, and guide of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Forgive us when we repent of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. What is good and profitable to our souls and for the future of the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. The rest of our lives may be spent in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. The end of our lives may be crisp and painless, unattended and peaceful and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant us, O Lord. Let us bring our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and may the Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you are the God of mercy, compassion, and love to mankind, and we render glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And to your spirit, I offerings unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. O Holy Lord, who dwell on high, yet behold the things below, who look upon all creation with your encompassing eye. To you do we bow in spirit and in body, and to you do we pray, O Holy of Holies. Extend to your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willfully or not, do you do well to give us in your goodness. And in your love for mankind, and give us all your good things from the earth and from above. For it behooves you to be merciful and to pray, love thou our God, and we render glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Sing the cross as what exalted, let us render all majesty and glory to God, who in his goodness was crucified all wearing flesh. Exalt ye the Lord our God and worship the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. As a bride is the church resplendently adorned with thy deifying water, and blood and she does sing of the glory of thy cross, O word. God is our King before the ages, he hath brought salvation in the midst of the earth. With the most precious cross, let us exalt and worship in his sphere and all things, wherewith the pure and life-giving body of Christ God was pierced. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us celebrate praise and peace. 
and to joyously celebrate his birth. With the prayers of our Holy Father among the saints, pray with us, dear Lord, Saint Petra the Silly, and our Holy Father among the saints, St. Mary, Archbishop of Cortina, and the Princess of the Young Medicis today, with the prayers of our Holy Father, St. Mother, with the prayers of our Holy and Just Ancestors that dwell throughout this world, and through the prayers of all the saints, may this same Lord Jesus Christ have mercy upon us and save us, with your grace, O Son, and O 